Drones are the future of transport in many ways. The challenges of transportation are so massive that there's an opportunity in drones to leapfrog transportation development. The Lake Victoria Challenge is an initiative by the government of Tanzania, other East African governments, and supported by the World Bank, to over a period of three to five years involve the first cargo drone routes, which can both send and receive goods. In these environments, it's possible to imagine that cargo drones will be a useful supplemental transportation system. In terms of cargo drones, we see a great opportunity for transporting laboratory samples and other medical supplies to hard to reach health facilities and using that to improve health outcomes. We think drone is the future, but we know very little about the infrastructure implications of this future. What kind of infrastructure is needed? Who would own it? Who would operate it? What opportunity does it bring to the community? There is no one costume that fits all in terms of the space, but there are some fundamentals that we want to look at. So it has to be super local, it has to serve that community, it has to be iconic. We are thinking about the fact that the, the drone ports themselves should have not only those drone functions, but that there is this civic function as well. There is the opportunity associated with just community uh, building a place, place to gather, place to trade, place to charge your phones, place for women to get together. It could be an opportunity to develop technical skills, to create a, a place where the community gets training for developing businesses. Defining uh, civic space as being uh, fundamental to the drone port. To think about a drone port actually working as a catalyst to prompt and sustain new traditions, new events, new forms of education. It's exciting. We can use this as an opportunity for learning so that students are exposed to science, to technology. Shout out particularly for girls to have that exposure. Then we would be doing such an amazing contribution to that community. I think we're still very early in the process of thinking about the business models. We still need to think about what is that core service that would be working at the drone port and then how can we put things around it. I think we have an opportunity to work with the private sector. So some of the facilities where we will be integrating drones, there are areas around them where there are private sector businesses where we might be able to create a business model where it becomes a way of sharing the, the costs of the drone infrastructure um, and making it more viable for the drone industry. The vision is to ensure long-term sustainability of, of that kind of drone port. You can look at technical feasibility study, financial feasibility study, but you also want to look at the social and the environmental impact of it. We need to take a look at those communities and see what their businesses are, what their applications are, and contextualize it to what is very important for that community. The motivation and the drive to push that technology further is there, and some of the best brains in the world today are working in this space. Now the challenge is up to uh, governments to, to think about how they're going to enable that environment and how they're going to be the enablers of this uh, leapfrogging in technology. It's possible to imagine that by 20. 30, we can see uh, a whole network of drone ports around Lake Victoria and that there will be overflights of, of goods that people want to pay for, which will help local communities improve healthcare, be a positive influence on education and uh, obviously have a commercial growth potential.